release of Ancient Combat edging ever closer, behind the scenes track down Mod Rowley and Raven to see why exactly Freneske is the must visit location for all Slayer lovers. With Ancient Combat we wanted to introduce something uh, Zerosian again. So this time round we introduced uh, Zerosian combat, so Zerosian themed abilities, Zerosian themed enemies. Uh, we like the idea of using Muspa and Nyala as a Slayer target just because they're unique creatures in an interesting environment and we wanted to give players more reason to return to Frenesca post Fate of the Gods. Both the Muspa and the Nihil make cool new Slayer targets because they're slightly different ways of fighting them. So you've got the Nihil in particular, have their own special attacks, their own way of working, they kind of buff one another and they work as a team, which means it becomes not just a I will hit things with the sword Slayer target, but it becomes a target you have to think about a bit carefully, you have to use your skills carefully and plan ahead, which makes them cool and fun to fight. So there are four new combat familiars. They're all based on the Nihil. There's a Blood Nihil, Shadow Nihil, Smoke Nihil and Ice Nihil. Each of these is not only a murder machine, I mean, any players who can summon them has faced them so they can see how nasty these creatures are, but each of them has uh, inbuilt invisible buffs, so these will help improve your particular combat style if you're fighting in the same style as those familiars. You unlock the familiars first of all by completing Fate of the Gods, which is a prerequisite to be able to create them, um, and then you can find the components by fighting the Nihil and fighting the Muspera as well. There are some other rewards available. There are various things including the new dragon weapons. So we've got the dragon haster coming from the melee muspa, uh, dragon ward which is a magical shield coming from the magic muspa and the ranged muspa drops, uh, main and offhand dragon throwing knives. In addition to the nile familiars and the dragon drops we've added to muspa, we've also added four ultimate abilities with a Zerosian theme. Uh, we decided to base the uh, general theme of these abilities on the ancient elements. We've used Blood, Shadow and Smoke for the damage dealing abilities and they have this kind of tendril theme where they'll whip at you and your opponent dealing both of you damage, obviously more damage to the opponent than to you. We also decided to sneak in a group heal ability which we're calling Ice Asylum and the theme of this is that you summon a, a large crystal of ice that can heal you and nearby allies as well. To unlock the new abilities, you just need to read the Codex Ultimatus book that you get post the dig site quest, which has a little bit of lore about uh, a long dead god called Lornab. It talks about a time when Zaros was a bit more involved in, in combat and fighting and where he was a bit more questionable in his methods. Between the ultimate abilities, the new Slayer targets, the drops on Muspar and the Nile Familiars, there should be something in ancient combat to appeal to everyone. Next week, the Ninja Team will be here talking about... Okay, has anyone seen the Ninja Team? Uh, next week, Dungeoneering. Probably. Guys? <laughs>